Hello everyone, Snap Trading here. Today is Monday, March 25th. Uh, I'll be going over my recap today. Um, today is the red day recap um, and mainly traded two stocks um, today. Uh, traded uh, CRIS. So CRIS, I saw it broke down this um, trend here. And today I feel like I did a lot of uh, chasing and low quality setup trades. Um, which I should really avoid to do. Um, and overall, I'm down to $281. Um, so the first trade I did was CRIS. So I saw this um, support here break through and it, I was trying to um, see if it uh, pops up back and retest this uh, support as resistance. Um, and I've kind of uh, chased this down, thinking it would do another uh, another flag down here, um, flag down. Um, but it kind of popped up a little bit. Uh, but I ended up uh, taking some profits here and here um, for a forty dollar winner. Um, and. CR, CRON, so CRON, I was very really short bias, um, but I should have uh, respected this 50 EMA uh, daily retest here, uh, kind of bounce back. Um, but then I also wanted to short this uh, towards the 2050 area, um, because um, on the 60 minute chart, you can see there's uh, a lot of resistance here. Um, so you have, you have your uh, resistance, support, and retested. So you have, this 2050 area or 2070 area was a really strong um, uh, support and resistance. So I guess that's, I, when I saw this uh, strong move, um, I should have respected and so I, I end up shorting here um, for, for this V1, uh, V watt break, um, but it kind of like you can see the tail there bounce right up. Um, I added more short. Um, I started small here, uh, and then I re-added uh, here for an average of like um, 20, 30, 20, 40 and I pretty much took it off. And this was like a break even trade right here. Um, and then I end up just sizing pretty big. So one mistake I did was sizing it big uh, when it's not an A plus setup. Um, and that ended up costing me, um, and I'm in the front side of the move. So, um, uh, while I was in here, you can see that it, it held the 13 EMA on the five minutes. So it is, it is also on the front side of the move. Um, it is above VWAP, um, and I size in way too big, um, um, with a low quality setup. So I need to practice sizing in bigger for A plus setup, not low quality setup. And today was a really slow day. Uh, and I felt like I was forcing trades uh, in cron. Uh, when I usually wait for some type of uh, inverted cup in hand or anything. So you can see here, like these shorts here, um, the, uh, looking back at it, this is not how I usually trade. And, um, there is no like inverted cup or handle here and pretty much same same place here so this today was a really slow day and it, I got kind of uh, punished for it because um, taking um, pretty much I'm just shorting it because I was short bias during uh, during uh, yesterday or during my watch list so I end up shorting it, but yeah, you can see that it kind of failed to break high of day. I felt a little weak here during this break and then going back down. Um, and then, so I reshorted it there, but it ended up breaking high of day again. So uh, I ended up taking like a hundred dollar loss here, and then I took like a two hundred dollar loss right here. Um, so it ended up squeezing me out, but. Uh, overall down 281 today so that kind of takes me back you know one or two days of gains but um, that's okay um, as long as you learn from your losses um, 
and you can just you know keep keep trying trying to improve yourself and as long as you know what you did wrong and how to improve um a loss is a small victory in a way um so as always guys um thanks for watching and don't forget don't forget to subscribe like and comment thank you bye